For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how to use enumeration in for statements. So in a typical use case with a for loop, we're going to run through and in this case print out each item inside of a list. So I start out with this list called some cool letters and I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. If I want to use each item in that list, in this case just to print, typical way to do that is to say for I, a variable, in the range of the length of whatever that list is, length of some cool letters, print some cool letters and then in brackets I. So it's going to go through the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Uh, so I'll save that and you'll see down at the bottom it's going to print A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H with a little pause in between. Now that is a real common way to do it, but this is a much more elegant way to do it using enumeration. For a cool letter in some cool letters. So you can see here, we're not relying on I, we don't have any brackets, we're just simply going to enumerate through the items in that list with a cleaner syntax. So you can see we get the same result, it prints out each of those. Now one other thing that we can do is also show the count, which initially will line up with the index, but the count of each item in that list is simply, in this case, the first item when we use enumerate in that list. So for a variable named count and a variable named a cool letter in enumerate the list, some cool letters, we're going to print out the count and the cool letter each time it runs through. So if I hit save now, you can see we get the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 count and their values. And so that is how you can enumerate with four statements inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.